Let's close out today's show by talking about Mr. Aaron Rodgers. He will be hosting Jeopardy this week, and there are so many questions abound. So many questions. And I, I don't know if we should even take this seriously, but there is the idea that he could retire from the NFL to host Jeopardy. Now, if you just look at it on its surface, he only has however many years left in the NFL before his body gives out and he's not able to play at the level that he's playing at right now. At last year was an MVP type of season. He's still capable of playing like that. He's only 36 years old, 37, whatever it is. It, Tom Brady, you know, he he's well into, I'd say well into his 40s. He, he's got a while to go, but he Brady is significantly older than Rodgers is, but Brady is a unicorn. That's a whole other thing. You never know how long you have left in the NFL. One wrong hit can take you out. You know, with Jeopardy, you get this gig. I mean, you're making $10 million a year for the next 20, 30, 40 years. That doesn't seem like such a bad gig. So I don't know that I would blame him. Uh, If you look at it, he is extremely self-aware. He's smart. He is calculated. He's all of these different things, and he has been hyping up. Uh, for the last few days, exactly how much he crushed his appearance on it. And I don't blame him for that. Like, he would not come out and say this if he didn't actually kill it, right? I can't wait to see what it actually looks like, what he sounds like, what he looks like. The pictures that I've seen, the interviews and whatnot, he looks the part. Like, we know he was on Jeopardy just a few years ago as a, a celebrity guest and did fairly well. Like, he's a pretty smart guy, and he loves this game. He loves trivia. He loves all of the stuff that goes into this. Um, The other side of this is, you know, could he be sending a message to the Packers? There was all this talk towards the end of last week about the fact that they have not extended him. They didn't uh, restructure his contract. They've done nothing with it. His contract runs out in 2023, or it goes through 2023, you know, they just signed a first-round draft pick that's going to be there for another five years. Are they going to want to try and move off of Aaron Rodgers? Are they going to, you know, what are they going to try and do? Is this a way to kind of show the Packers brass that he has other options? You know, the other guest shows on this, um, I mean, it's there's there's a lot that uh, that are involved here. So let's talk about the other guest hosts. Ken Jennings uh, has already done it for quite a bit. Uh, you had Mike Richards, who was an executive producer on Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. You had Katie Couric, um, journalist, New York Times bestselling author, all that kind of. You, you've all seen Katie Couric, you know, you all know who she is. Uh, Doctor Mehmet Oz, uh, you all know the Doctor Oz show. Then, of course, you've got Aaron Rodgers, who will be the next two weeks. After that, then you've got Anderson Cooper. You got Savannah Guthrie from NBC News Today. She's a co-anchor. You've got Mayim Bialik who was on Big Bang Theory. She's TV's Blossom. You all know her. She's extremely smart. Bill Whitaker from 60 Minutes is after that. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, uh, CNN chief medical correspondent. Those are the other guest hosts. Uh, Somebody from this list is probably going to be the full-time Jeopardy host. And why not Aaron Rodgers? You know, who knows? So I I don't know that... uh, I don't know what the issue would be uh, with him and the Packers. You know, it, his appearance on SportsCenter over the weekend, I think it was Friday night, he said, so far, it's definitely been my team. I don't know if a lot of that's in my hands, was a quote. The team obviously has the power to do what they want. He, I don't know if he's perturbed with the Packers or what, but... This is all incredibly interesting, and I'll be watching Jeopardy just to see what he looks like and to see what other news comes out of this. I I fully expect him to be with the Packers this year, but would it surprise me if he decided to retire? I don't think so. He's a weird cat, man. He is cut from a different cloth, and you all know it, and I know it, and it wouldn't surprise me to see him decide to just hang it up and go do something else. If he's really good at this, why not? Why not? I wouldn't blame him for any of it. All right, that is going to wrap up the Sunday night, Monday morning uh, solo show for me. I very much appreciate all of you for listening. Chris, of course, will have his solo show ready for Wednesday morning or Tuesday evening. We are going to have our 
Monday afternoon live show on YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, and Facebook. So make sure that you tune in for that one. Like this show, like this video. It's the little thumbs up button down there. And make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Of course, share the show out. Tell your friends. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. And have not mentioned it already, but go on and check out our college football show for this past week. And then the college football show coming up this week over at sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Or you can find it on YouTube. Just search out SBR Picks, or you can look for Sportsbook Review. That is who we are doing that through. They are your college football gambling center. I'm telling you, fantastic stuff over there. So make sure that you go and check it out. We certainly appreciate all of you being here. Thank you for listening. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and hopefully all of your tickets cash this week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.